This is the ETS Insta Snake, or one of the models. This is the uh, Insta Snake with the uh, extending cables on it. Um, they have various models of them, but we got these because of one of the fan outs. And this is the PA204P accompanied with the PA204FP. Um, reason being is, is if you got two of the same model, you would have female to female or male to male on either end. Um, whereas you have to use this one to say on cable one, you would have female, would be cable one would be male on the other end. So what's unique about this unit is uh, one thing I did some documentation reading and I noticed that uh, it didn't really explain how the cable was being used. It was a pinout and stuff like that, but there is a there is some decent documentation on it. Um, these work really well. Uh, case in point, let me undo this real quick. So it does take EtherCon, and it does take standard uh, RJ45. On top of that, it's got a good flat surface for uh, either using double side sticky tape, or if you notice on both of these units. They have holes that pass all three. You just gotta make sure you bump out of the way of those cables. But they have holes where you can actually bolt this down to the inside of a rack, um, inside of a case, whatever you need, uh, on the side of equipment. So it's actually very versatile. And the fact that you go straight into your, plugging into equipment, cable, cable the other end, come over here. And I've got this in the, uh, for uh, testing something now. One thing you got to keep in mind is, and uh, you have to have a shielded, whether you're using EtherCon or standard uh, RJ45, you do need to have a shielded network cable. Um, this is a, uh, what do you call it? Bro uh, not a broadcast tools, but it's a, uh, a studio hub. This is a studio hub uh, Cat5e, and this which works just as well, I, test, uh, I worked it. This is a standard Cat6 shielded cable that I got off of Amazon. I'll actually post a link to it. Um, both of those work fine. So you can use, if you've got a bunch of studio hubs in your studio, you can use these to get from here to here. Um, and the pinout. One key thing is you have to use shielded. The reason being is pin one on all of these are bound together by the shield. So if you have pin one working on one, that same pin one is shared through all the connectors. Maybe an issue with some equipment, typically is not, especially when you're using a balanced connector. Um, I verified this by testing coming off of pin one off of this one, and then testing it on all the pins on the other side, and even got con uh, uh, continuity between this connector and the other ones, just because it's a shared throughout all of them. Um, so far, works pretty good. I haven't had any issues uh, other than you don't want to go too long of a length of cable. Uh, I wish I would have had the documentation here. Um, but, you know, lo uh, too long of a thing. But the nice thing is you can use any standard, you know, you can use shielded EtherCon, standard Cat6 or Cat5 shielded patch cable, or if you've got Studio Hub, you can use those as well. Um, I would say I would recommend using the Cat6 and Cat6A, as in within the standard, Cat6 has, I mean, it's not dramatic, but it's a one gauge heavier cable than Cat5 was. But even though the, I believe the Studio Hub uses a little bit heavier cable, I can't really, let me see here, what's the gauge on Studio Hub? Cat5E tested, 75... Yeah, it's 26 gauge on on that, and I believe these are 20, Cat 6 is 23 gauge. Apologize about the, well, standard for Cat 6, uh, Cat 6 and Cat 6A, I believe is 23 gauge. So I would highly recommend using, uh, Studio Hub does work well, but if you ever wind up some, especially if you start sending like Phantom Power or something like that, it would be better to use a little bit heavier gauge cable. Plus, it's a little bit stiffer cable. Anyway, this is, like I said, this is the ETS Instastake, and they have various models. I went, like I said, we went with these because we needed to, it was nice to be able to plug these directly into the equipment. 
and go straight Cat 5 and then come out and go directly to Kinder. They do make boxes where it's just a box, one Cat 5, and then you've got the uh, uh, the Cat 5, I believe, is in the center, and then you have two male, two female uh, uh, panel mount uh, connectors, and you plug your cable into it. This was just a little bit cleaner. The other nice thing, and one thing I wonder before I forget, and sorry about the bumpy cam, this model comes with Neutric Golds. I'll show you on this one. So, very high quality. Um, I was pretty amazed with that when I got them. The fact that Neutric uh, Black Golds were the connector of choice for this model. So, uh, pretty stout, pretty heavy duty. Um, the cabling is not not a cheap one. It is a uh, I can't pronounce it. Made in Japan. So there is a PCB board inside, which I'm assuming the uh, panel mount connector mounts to. And then that's how they do the soldering for all the connectors. So, like I said, ETS Instasnake. Works pretty well. Um, I've used it in a couple of applications. I just had one of these brand new sitting here. I figured I'd show a view. If any of you guys are needing something to where you need a real good jump cable. And I believe you can go like 50 feet to 100 feet with these depending on the cable. I mean your mileage is going to vary depending on how much signal noise you've got going on in the room. Uh, you know if you're getting a lot of RF or electrical interference but you know being as you're using the balance connector it should not be an issue. But like I said it's a snake uh, PA204P. Um, you can check these out. I have the link in the description below. Uh, check them out. Uh, thanks for watching.